I'm Chase. I buy storage units at auctions with my two companions, and I show you what reality TV doesn't. Welcome to Chase Thrifts. What's going on, thrifters? We got a $5 unit we picked up about two weeks ago, just now I'm getting around to make the video about it. Full of gaming stuff and military stuff. Came from the U Haul auction, which I usually get $5 units at. This particular auction had about 70 units for sale. And only uh, around six people bidding, maybe even five. Over the half of the units didn't even go sold. I only bought two units this time. This is the only one we're showing. Five dollar unit. Go check it out. Here's a five dollar unit I picked up today. It doesn't seem. It seems like it's a, a military unit. But I just opened this up. Look at this. Look at this little score. That's a Wii U instantly I almost bought one of these yesterday too it's like a hundred and I think 125 bucks or a hundred bucks right there and I bought it because it had the military stuff in it so all you could see was this and look at this pack right here nice looking pack yeah Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's packed full. We'll go through that at home. And then in the back back here, can't really tell what's back here yet, but there's a blue case. Looks like more army stuff, uh, bags, and a TV. Let's actually drag this out and see real quick. By the way, you got a nice basketball for Wanda. Nice little flat as hell, but it's perfect for Wanda. And here's another, uh, that's the TV stand for this TV, looks like. I didn't even see this in the photos. I got this here for five bucks because it didn't look like it was very pleasing. Ooh, that's a, a 45 player right there. That's cool. Victorola. It's probably, hey, uh, it's, a, not a new, it's a newer one. So who knows how much that's worth, maybe 50 bucks. Not a bad find so far, and I really, I really like buying military units, even though it's, you know, in a, in a moral way, wrong. But, you get so much cool stuff. And some more army uh, uh, clothing to go through. Here's one army bag, I just hit my head on that thing. Smash that. This sucks when you're six foot three and you smash things in your face. Wow, there's actually two TVs in here. Look at that. One TV, two TV. What this right here? So the only bad thing is, you get two freaking mattresses to get out of here, which I have to come back to get. Not a big deal. Suits in this. I'm gonna basically uh, take this stuff home and go through it, and we'll find out what's all in these things. It's clothing, I think. <laughs> This is a good unit so far. I'm actually happy. I was really kind of freaking sad earlier because that last unit I got was just complete garbage. All right, let's get this stuff home. I'll get the rest out of the trailer. Before we get any further, I want to show you guys a little clip that I made with Fina Wanda escaping the house as I'm working in my room. Check it out. <laughs> Okay, so this mattress is pretty damn gone. I don't want to touch it right now. The cover fell off. This will be a dumpster one. It's 
I mean, if it wasn't so stained, it'd be a nice one, but really, really gross. Pretty much everything you see in here is gonna go to the dump, except like maybe that and that. The rest of the stuff is pretty much trash. For one day, I'll be buying an enclosed trailer. Today is not that day, so let's get home and load this. Well, I don't actually need to unload this at all because it's going straight to the dump. So, cool. Call it a day, latch my stuff in, make sure my stuff's good. Let's go home, bandit. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Uh, it's been almost two weeks since I've recorded and I just haven't had time to go through the actual unit. Okay, so you see my spread I got out going in here. Um, as you may have seen, I think I showed off the Wii U inside the unit, but I found all the games with it. There's some Wii games. We got uh, DS games. We have a FC Twin, a Nintendo, and a PlayStation there. So let's, let me show you off everything I got here. All right, I'm gonna start left to right. Don't mind those, those are just books I picked up. We do have some anime stuff here. We have Howling, Moving Castle, Rick and Morty Season 1, Rick and Morty Season 2, Cowboy Bebop, Spirited Away. Some of this stuff is actually listed on my eBay if you guys are interested in buying some of this stuff. I have them listed pretty cheap. We have some Wii games up here. We have Animal Crossing, Warrior Land, uh, Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports, Monster Hunter 3, which is a demo disc. <laughs> Weird. Um, we have the entire Wii here, and there's one little detail that's, uh, this little screen right here has a little nick on it, it's not a big deal. We also have the Wii U Animal Crossing, so we have both Animal Crossings. The Wii U games, we have uh, Olympic Games, Hot Wheels, Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, Nintendo Land, and Most Wanted up there. And coming down to this area, we have... DS game. Do we have Mario Kart DS? So we have like Mario Kart for the DS, the Wii, uh, and the Wii U. And also, here in a second, I'm going to show you guys the uh, Super Nintendo Classic I got. It's over at my brother's house. I'm going to borrow it. Um, Super Mario 64, Hometown Story, which is basically um, a Harvest Moon. It brings us down here to Harvest Moon. So we have both of those. We have a bunch of no-name games here. We have Metroid, Tony Hawk's 3, Star Wars, Final Fantasy Tactics, which is awesome, Kingdom Hearts, Lord of the Rings of Third Age, these are all RPGs. Uh, I guess you can call Pokemon an RPG. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sonic, two Sonics right here. So nice little find on those, nice finds. And uh, at the end here, I think I'll go over the uh, uh, price. I think I can get all, all of these. We have Prince of Persia 2 in the original box. I have this listed on eBay for $25. The original cart is in there. And I'll slide it out to show you guys. There's the cart. There is the uh, booklet. That's got like Premiere Video North. Like this used to be rented out, which is funny. Um, I, I remember renting these when I was a little kid, like very little. We have PSP games, but no PSP. Just like the DS games with no DS. And a PS2 with no PS2. PS2 games with no PS2. Xbox and GameCube. So we have Dante's Inferno, Lord of the Rings Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics, awesome freaking game right there. Warriors Orochi, super nice game of M+, Dragon Ball Z. Some of these are super classic. Like Champions of Norath is awesome. Dark Cloud for the PS2 is really sweet. Pokemon Moon. Um, so over here we have a PlayStation Classic right here, brand new in the box. That's freaking awesome. That's 30 bucks now. They used to sell for like 70, but nobody likes them, so they I think you can buy them for like 39.99 at GameStop, brand new. We have Call of Duty World War II, Battlefield One for Xbox One, Red Dead Redemption Two. Sweet. It's an awesome game. Uh, Bloody Roar for GameCube and Spyro for the GameCube. We have a full uh, NES right here with Ghostbusters 2. And we have Mystery Quest. I never heard of that game. It's made in Japan. Uh, the original controllers and the power system, or the power brick, but there's no uh, AV cables, which I have a ton of them. Uh, we have the FC Twin, which actually plays NES games and Super Nintendo games. That's pretty cool. I don't have 
the DC input, but I can I probably have one somewhere laying around. And uh, I need some AV cords for those too. And stick around guys, because I'll be giving away the FC Twin to one lucky listener or video watcher or subscriber, whatever you are. So stick around, we'll be giving that away. So you see we have quite the selection of gaming stuff from this $5 unit. We also have some Xbox One controllers to go along with Xbox One games, but we never got an Xbox One console, which is fine, because these controllers can be, this is like a well, $25 controller around there. You get the Wii controller for the original, the Wii, but th I think this comes with the Wii U nowadays. And the Wii U is gonna be super collectible in, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years. They didn't make a lot of those. They made just as, mu just as much Wii U's as they did like Sega Dreamcast. They are pretty cheap. I think this is like only 130 bucks for the whole thing. But in 10 years, it's gonna be crazy. I might just keep on to it. I don't know yet. You may have saw me play this in the very beginning. We also got this out of the unit. It's like 50 bucks new, but this is really cool because I have, I have other albums up there from my last storage unit I can play. Uh, we got some cool albums here. They're Velcroed together. I don't understand why they're Velcroed. But we have Queen, Day at the Races, Bob Seeger. We have, oh, I gotta put my camera down. America, Horse with No Name. We have Queen, The Game. Uh, this one probably goes with one of those. It's a Fleetwood Mac. The Grateful Dead. Now, these aren't even collectible at all, really. Uh, they just, I think there's some of the stuff you can buy new at Walmart and stuff. Johnny Cash, that's a empty one. I don't know what this is, but it's an upside down picture either way. Um, there's no album in there, so I don't know what that is. Really cool little uh, $5 unit, guys. Um, and then I'll show you guys some of the military stuff, but I'm going to save it for my next video. You guys see my military stuff over here is kind of piled up. There's a lot here. Um, there's some revision goggles, stuff like that, and I got, I think there's two duffel bags to go through, actually three at one two, three, and then there's this big old pack right here, which you might have seen. There's some Mole 2 hydrogen packs, some more right there. This thing's full. I'm pretty sure this is a straight up standard issue. I opened it up a little bit and everything in there is basically brand new. So stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be making it pretty soon. And then comment down below if you guys want to win this FC Twin. But if you want to win this, tell me down below in the comments what's your favorite thing in here. Um, and we're gonna go over next door and see Alex, my three-year-old nephew, playing some Mario Kart on the SNS. But I did draw for the last, uh, my last video I did draw the winner for the uh, Pirate Sword. It's Linda Willis. So comment down below, send me an email, my uh, description down below. Get the silver sent to you, Linda. I know you've been watching my videos for a while, so you won something. Even if it's a Pirate Sword. Ready to race cars? I, I am be. What do you want to be? I am to be Tito. He can rock. You gonna be able to beat me? A video game. Okay? There we go. I'm beating you. You better go. I I beat you. Are you sure? Yes. I I already passed that. Good job. All in all, not a bad $5 unit. I still got a lot more stuff to go through in my next video. All the military stuff. Remember guys, fortune favors the bold. Get out there and do some bold shit. I'll see you next time. So, these two just messed this muskrat up. It had the audacity to be in an our yard. Now, hey, get away from it. Hey, what I say? Back up. I don't want you getting your nose bit off, okay? I think it's a muskrat. It was, it was just chilling right there in the middle of the yard. I walked over to it. I thought it was a dead squirrel.